Aggie fans despise me for what I'm about to say. Texas A&M has been the same program for 30 years. That is true. Outside of like two seasons that were like flickers in the night. Yep. And and they think that they're that. They think they're Johnny Menzel every year. And they're not. They're not. Guys, you know, they think that they're the the Sir Parker AM team that won the Big 12. They think that they're Johnny Menzel winning in Tuscaloosa. And they're not. If you actually study Texas AM, if you go back and just look at their history, right? Brownie, pull them up on CFB reference right now. Okay. Just pull them up right now. And here's what you're going to see. A middle-of-the-road conference team, regardless of conference. That's what you'll see. That's what they are. And every year, because of the state, because of the backing, and because of the fan base, because their fan base is so incredible, the environment is so incredible, because their level of, of funding is so incredible, we think like, well, they've got to be good. And then they aren't. And then they aren't. And and they are the same. Brownie, read off some of those records. Just start for, just by, fire by them the off. way, the only reason I thought it would be different, I never was a Jimbo guy, Clat, but I, I think Mike Elko's a hell of a coach. It just that offense was just flat. Well, and maybe he will be. And I hope that he is, by the way. Because again, I think that fan base deserves it. Um but as you'll see this, and you guys can talk about this after after I'm dumb. A and M has been A and M forever. But were you surprised just, at how bad Wegman played? He played bad. Not after seeing the game day feature with Dr. Oz. Uh, I was like, oh, man. I, like, <laughs> I didn't I see it. Don't always get killed for it. Yeah, Wegman is. Well, yeah. it's just like, hey, man, you're just totally fake. But yeah. that's, that, you know what? That was that was out of bounds of me. I don't like to talk about yeah. – that was a personal shot, so I apologize. I hope Connor Wigman plays better. I think he will. I believe Colin Klein is a really solid offensive coordinator and will get them better. I think Mike Elko is solid. The bigger surprise for me is that an offensive line with six total starts coming into the, the the season performed like that in the second half. They run the ball for almost 200 yards. They kind of control the line of scrimmage against the defensive line that we would all say is is very talented and yeah. and any maybe an elite or very good defensive line. So that was a big um, not surprise, but I would say I. I a, a big part yeah. of week one is Notre Dame. And now in particular, I think it's even bigger because of their schedule moving forward. They're going to be favored in every single game that they play outside of maybe now this last game against USC. 